I learned very young from parents, from my parents, absolutely, that you you don't try to build a wall. You don't set out to build a wall. You don't say, I want to build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that's ever been built. You don't start there. You say, I'm going to lay this brick as perfectly as a brick can be laid. There will not be one brick on the face of the earth that's going to be laid better than this brick that I'm going to lay in this next 10 minutes. Yeah. And you do that every single day. And soon you have a wall. And soon you have a wall. And I think psychologically, the advantage that that, that gives me over, over a lot of people that I have been in competition with in different situations is it's difficult to take the first step when you look how big yeah, exactly. the, the task is. The task is never huge to me. It's always yeah, me one brick. Me too. If your job is to try to be the best basketball player you can be, to do that, you have to practice, you have to train. You want to train as much as you can, as often as you can. So if you get up at 10 in the morning, train at 12, train for two hours, 12 to 2, you have to let your body recover, and get back out, you train, start training again at 6, train from 6 to 8, and now you go home, you shower, you eat dinner, you go to bed, you wake up, you do it again, right? Those are two sessions. Now imagine you wake up at 3, you train at 4, you go 4 to 6, come home, breakfast, relax, now you're back at it again, 9 to 11, relax, and now all of a sudden you're back at it again, two to four, and now you're back at it again, seven to nine. Look how much more training I have done by simply starting at four. And so now you do that as the years go on, the separation that you have with your competitors and your peers just grows larger and larger and larger and larger and larger. By year five or six, it doesn't matter what kind of work they do in the summer, they're never going to catch up. He who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. <laughs> I became very friendly with Muhammad Ali in the 70s. And Muhammad Ali worked his butt off. And I saw it firsthand. And I remember that there was a sports writer that was there in the gym when he was working out and he was doing sit-ups. And they asked him, how many sit-ups do you do? And he said, I don't start counting until it hurts. Now think about that. He doesn't start counting his sit-ups until he feels pain. That's when he starts counting. That is working hard. And so you can't get around the hard work. It doesn't matter who it is. As a matter of fact, I believe what uh, Ted Turner said. Work like hell and advertise. If you want to be successful, learn from the other people's mistakes. Don't learn from the successful stories. Learn from the mistakes, the other people. No matter how smart you are, you will encounter these mistakes. You learn from mistakes not because you will be able to avoid mistakes. You will able to, when these mistakes come, they suffer comes, you know how to deal with it to face it. The book I want to write is Alibaba 1001 Mistakes. <laughs> this is the most treasurable things that in my life. In my life, it's not how much we achieved. It's how much we go through the tough days. I want to thank me. <laughs> I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for having no days off. I want to thank me for, for never quitting. I want to thank me for always being a giver and trying to give more than I receive. I want to thank me for trying to do more right than wrong. I want to thank me for just being me at all times. See, everything changes. The economy changes. Relationships changes. We change mentally and emotionally and physically. And so this is why when you hear the word change, there is a mental block. You cannot change because you have equated change with pain. You stepped out of one relationship to another and you feel pain. You leave one neighborhood to another and you feel pain. Change is an invitation to the future. If I can change, I can have, I can my, have future. my future. See change as transformation. See change as evolution. See change as necessary. See change as critical. See change as inevitable. 
and the more and more you start to see that change is not pain, you're going to see transformation. Your history is not your destiny. I had like 106 dollars in the bank and like I said I had to sell my dog and things were not looking very very good uh, my $40 car had just blown up so I was taking a bus to work I had no no film history no real film knowledge I was just working from I guess instinct and so often I had gone to uh, fight films and our sporting films yes we're gonna go out there we're gonna knock them out you're gonna win I said no I'm not gonna win I'm going to get destroyed but if I can be lucid if i can still be standing on my feet you know what then life isn't so bad at the very end of our lives if we can still say you know we were never humbled we were knocked down but we got up and i can say i lived life with integrity and i took all the blows as i still prevailed to really succeed no man really is an island when you find the right components in your life the right people that gel with you then you feel as though you you're invincible if you have an idea that you genuinely think is good, don't let some idiot talk you out of it. Now, that doesn't mean that every wild notion you come up with is gonna be genius, but if there is something that you feel is good, something you want to do, something that means something to you, try to do it because I think you can only do your best work if you're doing what you want to do and if you're doing it the way you think it should be done and if you can take pride in it after you've done it no matter what it is you can look at it and say I did that and I think it's pretty damn good Muscle is created by repeatedly lifting things that have been designed to weigh us down so when you show this feeling Stand up straight, lift your chin, hell, call it exercise. Remember that life is a gym membership with a really complicated cancellation policy. Remember that you will survive. Remember things could be worse. Remember we are never, ever given anything that we can't handle. When the world crumbles around you, you have to look at the wreckage and then build a new one out of all the pieces that are still here. Remember you are still here. The human heart beats approximately 4,000 times per hour in each pulse, each throb, each palpitation is a trophy engraved with the words you are still alive act like it look brother then he had it right around this area the shoulder area so this old man crazy he's making money but he crazy he said come on out a little further he came out a little further it was right at his mouth my man like i'm about to go back in here this guy is mine but the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, holding him down. My man getting scratch it, holding him down. I got you. I know you brushed it out, but I got you. He had him held down. I need you for an illustration. He had him held down just before my man was about to pass out. He raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. Somebody answer the question for me. He said, when you were underwater, what did you want to do? Lee, I'm looking for a different word though than lip. What's that word? He said, I wanted to breathe. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful.